and we are back. Thanks She's for back staying again. with us. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We have to let All her stay. right, joining <laughs> us for a final discussion on the show is an actor in a class of his own, Moshud Fatah. Yes, indeed. Now, he is a Nigerian stage and screen actor whose performance in the uh, Netflix series Far From Home, if you guys remember, and also Nigeria's biggest cinema release of all time, second. Battle on Second. No, first, actually. first, actually. Oh, yeah. it is first now. A Battle Ooh, on look at Booker you. Street <laughs> is quite remarkable. He is. Uh, he's here. You are welcome, Moshud Fatah. Thanks for having me. Love your name. It's, it's a perfect name for yeah. a villain, actually. I agree. There you go. And yeah, yeah. We, we have a way of churning out villains from on Wake Up Nigeria. The first one was, uh, if uh, you remember, uh, uh, what was the name? Uh, that thing, <laughs> the popular one. I've forgotten his yeah, name now. Yeah, yeah, but I'm sure it will come. It will come it will, we, we, yeah, we like villains. Yeah, we love villains. Good to have you here, Rashid. Sure, yeah. Good to have, Good to have you. Me. You are a phenomenal actor. I just need to put that out there. And learning now that you have a background in theater arts, that just makes a whole lot of sense. Mm. Like it just basically like caps it all. Talk us through your journey and you know, how did it all begin for you? Oh, my story started with a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's, that's exactly what I would have said. Um, you asked for the beginning, didn't you? I mean, you asked for it. Um, I was about three years old. My uncle was at my house, at the house with my parents at the time and he was a bad boy of sorts. He's late now and um, he used to have condoms in the house. And at that time, there was a condom commercial running at the time. And as a child, you know how kids watch TV and they learn all the commercials? Mm -hmm. So I learned a particular condom commercial, all the lines in it. And I remember just seeing a condom in the house and just pick it up, went to the living room and performed Get this wrinkled. it. You can't, can we do that? No, you, you already, can't. You already went and done that. <laughs> but she clocked it. And I performed it for my parents and they just laughed. I had no idea what I was doing, but that was my first performance mm -hmm. and then I was I mean I've been blessed to have parents who have been very supportive and then I went on to um, study performing arts University of Illinois where mm -hmm. I was university scholar I went on to do my master's in theatre arts University of Lagos and that was where I cut my cut my That's teeth great. so to speak um, did my first professional performance Spirit of David in 2015 oh, the Butch and Spirit the of David yes I was I am an honorable member of sorts did a ah, show with them nice. since 2015 and then it's been shows here and there all over the world and then tv and film came along and it's been quite the journey mm -hmm. i'm blessed i'm fortunate i'm grateful oh so now you've moved on into movies yeah um would you say that's predominantly what you do now or are you still invested in being a i, a, a, a a I wouldn't say i moved on to movies i've always done both by, side by side as a matter of fact when i was shooting far from home i took a break to travel to dubai for a show mm. and the weekend when Booker street and far from home premiered I was on stage at the Mission Center performing. So it's always both are home to me. Mm. I don't look at it as um, moving on to something or anyway. It's, mm. For me, it's just work. Okay, so now theater movies, do you find that you have to actually kind of like break your real character to be able to perform one or the other? Mm. Is there a difference in the style? For theater, mm. I would imagine that it's a very observatory type, to be or not to be type. More but, strict, more rigid. Yeah, more, nah, nah. Uh, but that's me as a lay Fortunately, person. when I came into the industry, I had the good fortune of working with great production companies. Mm. Uh, I worked with um, Lufoto Productions, that's Joke Silva and um, Olu Jacobs. They had a company then well, let you the on show. TV by the way you can see how oh look at me yeah um, <laughs> and we did um, a show hard with the musical Femi Jacobs a couple of other stars and um, it was my first second time using a microphone mm. and I think one thing with theater now is when you use the microphone you're more relaxed it's not ah. proclamatory it's more I could be talking to you like this on stage mm. Mm. so that kind of made, made it easy for me to seg into film okay and then working with the Melanie Austin Peters doing shows at Terra Culture theater there is not like that it's more relaxed it's more it's more finessed so you just mm. gave me that polish i needed to go into films mm. so yeah let's talking about your projects on um i mean your feature with battle on booker street right i mean that was a film in the list production oh, yeah. And uh, well, there has been a lot of speculations that working with funky and Kindle can be quite difficult i would like to hear your experience you know what i think I can't speak for anybody else, okay. but in my own observation, I mean, I met her on the set of Far From Home, okay. and you know, she is the biggest actor on the continent, largest following, and the way I am, I never approach a star without being introduced, so I never went up to her, I'm like, just keep your distance, but she just took a liking to me, she's like, who is that guy? I want to know who he is, because she's been observing me, she's been asking questions like, 
and I found it like weird. Like, why is she taking interest in me? And I had no idea what plans she had. And you know, after after we did Far From Home, she called me up. She's like, "Hello, you're playing my son in my next movie." And I'm like, "Wait, what? Mm -hmm. I don't get to audition." She just called me up, and then you know, we got to, to, to set, and I got to watch her multitask be a producer be an actor director. be a director be a costumer be a mother be all of these things at the same time and i'm like this is a very hard working person now when you see someone who is going that hard and then you have someone who has just one job mm -hmm. and they're not pulling up you get mm -hmm. pissed because it's like i'm doing all of this and then you have just this just, thing and you're not just, coming yeah. through i mean i can understand why she'll get angry mm -hmm. now she has told me that she has been kind of she's been in the past but she's really making that uh, making the effort to be more uh yeah. you know relative I'm able, I'm with, people. With, with people and okay. I, I i have seen her putting in the work and um, i mean i'm happy and proud of her i oh, want to say fantastic. that that is a fantastic response yes but that was a fantastic question thank you so much <laughs> Ms. Ina. and now you said that she says you she, she perhaps cast you she already cast you as her son in mm -hmm. her next movie now it brings me to the roles that you're being cast as mm. especially if you've got this outlook you look Pretty young. Has that affected? Um, I was coming there. Oh, yeah. He, I mean, he's not that young, but he looks absolutely young. You're joking. I am. Thirty. Easy now. February twenty six. Yeah. No way. Mm. Yes way. Mm. Mm. Wow. Get your friends I know. Back. Get your friends back <laughs> in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Activated. How old do you think I was? <laughs> you look. You're looking like in your twenties. Calm down, now, girl. That's, I mean, I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> but she, her husband works at TVC News. Oh just so girl. you know, he's in the building. <laughs> but so she's already cast you as a son. So that brings me to you being cast in your different roles. Has that does that have an effect in the uh, casting process for you? Do people looking at you and say, "I mm -hmm. want you to play mm -hmm. this role, that role," and instead in of any roles way, that you really want to play, yeah, right? does it affect um, the roles that you really? Uh, so a lot of people think I just came into the movie business, mm -hmm. but I've been around for a oh, while. Wow. I mean, I did stuff with Eddie T.F. Young, Nia Kimolayo, Tulu Ajayi. Great short films that premiered all around, all around the world. And but one thing with me was, I told myself I wasn't going to do what I didn't want to do. If, it, if the character didn't feel right, the project didn't feel good, if the money wasn't okay, I wasn't going to do it. And I had my theatre career already, so I had something to rest on. So I really, really picked my projects. Mm -hmm. And when these projects came, I will say that, I mean, FFH was, Far From Home was a very grueling role because it's very far from who I am in real life. It's that far took from a home. Of, <laughs> <laughs> took a lot of work. And, it um, did? Oh, yeah, because I don't speak Pidgin. I don't have, I, I'm, I'm Yoruba. So d having to learn, having yeah, to the accent. get an accent, it was a lot of, you know, I had to intern at, I had to intern at the mechanics workshop for like two days just to you know. Did? Oh, yeah, I had That's to. That's interesting. I had to, I had wow. to. It was a lot of, you know, but working on Battle on Booker Street was a little, it was a little easier for me and I'm, I, I'm very grateful because you don't get to see a lot of roles for young men in Nigerian films mm -hmm. where they get to like um, show their range, show emotional range. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to shout and or be funny, but to yeah, show that you have range, depth. Sure. So I'm very grateful for that project. I know, I know people haven't seen it, but I'm sure when it gets on stream, it's going to be a monster. Yeah. So yeah, I know we, we have to go quickly, but there was something you said that um, resonated with me because uh, I've had these conversations with a couple of people mm. in the industry about actors being intentional with your roles, mm -hmm. right? So um, I remember having this conversation with a friend and then she was saying that, oh no, M.M., you're not hungry. And I was saying that I feel that you don't have to do every movie to be popular. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes you just have to be intentional and I'd just like to hear your thoughts on that quickly. Mm. Yeah, the thing is, so I'll tell you something. When Far From Home blew up, I wasn't ready for the kind of fame that came with it. Mm. It's still crazy for me sometimes. No kidding. And I think it got to a peak sometime in January and I had to go to my priest just to talk and be like, okay, I think I'm losing it for a second. I need to get back on ground. And then he asked me, he's like, why are you an actor? Don't forget why you're doing this. It's not, it's not for the fame. It's not for the popularity. You love to act. That is the first thing. So whatever happens, focus on the, mm. on the why you started in the first place. So for me, it's not about mm. being hungry or whatever. There are actors that abroad who do a film a year. Mm -hmm. And they've blown. I mean, what's, what's blow? When you think about it, what does it mean to blow? Yeah, we're asking that questions here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does it mean to blow? Right? Yeah. I, I, if you want to be famous, I, I, I like to keep a low profile. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brother, I'm a that's son. A, I'm a, ah, you, you can know. say that now. That's very you're obvious, famous. actually. No, but I've always been that way, though. It's fantastic. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is when you stepped in and sat down, you were sitting with myself and Mary there, and I said to Mary, actually, that he reminds me of me from when I was a younger man. <laughs> Now, that's one. <coughs> Secondly, I'd like to say a better comparison, better in quotes, <laughs> is that if you remember the character in the Green Book, Mahershala oh, Ali, uh, yeah. Shirley, oh. 
I'll take that. I'll take that. That's him. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's him right there. I'll take that. Oh, and then he looks like him. What I said was like me. You didn't get it. You could cast. You could cast as his son. I will. I'll take that. He's a phenomenal actor. Oh, I'm speaking it into existence for you. All right, please. Let's. I mean, thank you so much for being here, Moshud. I mean, we're gonna serve you later on in the kitchen, but hey, let's see your work. Let's just, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> Enjoy some of your work. All right. Uh, no. Our sources tell us that.